everybody, it's time for a brand new Bid Nerd, your daily nerd out on the most interesting car of the day from all those auction sites that you spend so much time cruising. I know I do waste a lot of time looking at cars on uh, on cars and bids and PCAR market. What do you think, Michael Deeb? Are you excited about today's episode? I am excited about today's episode. I want to know what the herd thinks of our new abbreviated front bumper. Um, you cut out a couple of really fun little pieces that I liked in our early segment. Um, and so I'm just wondering if, if the herd noticed at one and then two, you know, which one do they like better? The short one, cause they can get right to our handsome faces. Uh, or did they like the long intro that you originally started that I pleaded with you not to let go. I loved it so much. <laughs> We do like, I do like the old intro, but uh, the interwebs say that the algorithm does not like these intros. Everyone is saying out there when we're talking about growing the size of your YouTube that. channel that you got to kind of get size matters. Point. So we, uh, we're trying <laughs> to do matters. that, but we're not doing a very good job because we're talking about our intro when we could have just played the yeah. intro and gotten the car that you are probably here for. If you are new to the show, you probably saw the thumbnail on this 924 that we're going to be talking about. Uh, what we do is we scour all these auction sites and we find that interesting car uh, we have that interesting conversation about the car, and then we get to the fun part. We predict what the results of that auction will be, and then at the end of the show, we reconcile our predictions with what actually happened. So make sure you stick around to the end of this episode to find out if we were right. And even right. better, you can play along and put your bids in the comments below. People do that all Woo! the time, and it's a lot of fun. It's like uh, it's like Price is Right, Minute. only you don't. Uh, we're not talking about washing and dryers. Yeah, second level minute market too. Yep, yep. Be a man, show your steel. Let's see if uh, when you put your bid, heck, you could put your bid in right now, right? You could put yeah. uh, you could put whatever, however long the show is. See if you bid before we do, and uh, <laughs> see if you're any good at this. You're probably better than we are. Uh, but all right, enough about all of that. Um, at some point, we're going to talk about our friends at God and Porsche up there. That's right above Michael Deeb's head. Can you see yeah. that logo, Michael Deeb? Yeah, yeah, do, yeah do, I can talk see Talk about it. those guys, right guys real quick. All right, so today we're going to look at a Porsche 924. I don't know a ton about these cars, but our friends at God and Porsche of Las Vegas, the very first classic partner, Porsche classic partner in North America, they do. They have the parts. They have the service technicians. They have the experts that can help you figure out what's going on with your car, keep it on the road with genuine Porsche parts, and help find you a car if you're in the market for a classic Porsche. Call our friends at God and Porsche of Las Vegas and tell them the Bid Nerd sent you. All right. What is the most interesting car of the day? I already kind of gave it away, but let's get so to I. the specifics. Yeah. So JP, P Car Market has sourced a car that is right here in my backyard in the Bay Area. This is a 1980 Porsche 924 Turbo on P Car Market offered for sale out of Walnut Creek, California, just across the Bay Bridge. Um, basically go to uh, Sohan's house and then keep going east from there. Um, really cool car, John. Check a look at it. It's only got 21,000 original miles. Um, it looks like it's just regular silver, although they call this one diamond silver metallic. Uh, and what I really appreciate is it's just a plain black interior and it's got leather seats, which I would have to ex uh, expect was a pretty rare option on a 924, a sort of a bargain car. Uh, Porsche was doing really well with the original 924, and they decided to kick it up a notch and bring some of the technology from their race cars onto one of their street cars. And uh, anyway, let me decline this call here, John. Sorry about that. Um, basically, they added a turbo, and that's what this car is here. 150 horsepower, and more importantly, 150 pound foot of torque took that anemic little uh, four-cylinder that was under the hood and gave it a little bit of, of actual power. This was a car that in 1980 um, probably rivaled the performance of some of the other cars in Porsche's lineup, like a, an SC because of all the torque that this thing made. The car has kind of aged well to me. I love the little um, air vents on the front leading hood, and I love that NACA duct that is on the passenger side of the hood um, is really cool. The other thing that's really interesting, this car was optioned with five lug because the original 924s had four lug wheels. 
This has five lugs, and they upgraded this car with 16-inch wheels. Those are wheels that look like they would have come off the front of a 928. So really cool car, really low miles. It looks to be in exceptional condition. Um, if you're a real California kid like me, JP, you might notice also the California blue plate that is period correct for when this car was originally registered. Um, it is. It does mention that the car was registered in California. It was sold in California originally. So this car has been a California car its whole life. Um, and the blue plate certainly uh, is congruent with that story. But the condition, I think, is what is going to drive this car here. Um, the seller has come on to answer some questions uh, that have been thrown at him in the comments section. He says that it's all original paint. The car has never been in an accident. It has zero corrosion. It looks like the type of car that um, wonderfully has been treated to garage life its whole existence. And thus, as it sits here on these photographs, it looks to be in really exceptional original condition. So, JP, you know our really good friend, Yuri Sanakis, um, friend of the bid nerds, friend of the show. Um, he and I, he was like, are you guys going to show this car? And I had already selected it, but he wanted to petition that we look at this car. Um, and Yuri's interested in the car for himself. So as we were going live this morning to talk about the car, he texted me and I think he said that he got a hold of the consigner. Um, so uh, by the time we cap this car, I may actually come back with firsthand uh, knowledge of this car. We may go drive this thing in Walnut Creek this week before it closes um, so that when we do reconcile this particular lot, I might be able to tell you what the consigner was like and what the car was actually like in real in real life. Um, but super cool car, JP. I never really liked the turbo. I never got it. Um, to me, it's like, why would you spend the money on a turbo? Just get a 944. Um, but after all these years, I do the I have a soft spot for the 924. And um, if I hadn't just gone out and bought a new car myself which we'll talk about when it gets here um i would i would have been seriously interested in this car for my for my very own it's just a neat little car and i i'm really happy that we're looking at it so what do you think you've driven a 924 turbo um is this uh uh spare us the the thing is it like you know is this a car you would tell miss me because it's a maintenance nightmare a servicing nightmare or a reliability nightmare or do you like this car because i i don't know them very well this car reminds me of that 928 that Godden Classic, our friends at Godden Classic, had a few years ago. And this isn't just a shameless plug for Godden Classic, but... Yeah, or Tony Mazzagatti, because I bought that car off Tony's lot. Oh, right. Yeah. So it's like the thing that... It's not just that, it, you know, that it's from the same era and it's the same year and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. the thing that strikes me that's similar to that car that we're talking about is how good the condition is yeah. on this particular car and how I have seen over the years 924s and 928s mm. that were in good condition, but never good original condition. And right. in my entire life, up until three years ago, when I drove that 928, and I'd probably driven mm. dozens of 928s over the years, I never drove one that I liked because they were always just there was always something wrong. They were always, you know, just old and tired and beat up and not maintained. To drive one that, like, how many miles did that 928 have? 9,000 miles or something? So, yeah, it was like 8,000 miles. It was an 84S. Unfortunately, it had an automatic, but it was ruby metallic, which is why I love the car. Mm, no, that's not the one I, I was, that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm are, talking about the talking black about the one. It was the 80. Black on black with the manual. Yeah. 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 yeah black on black. The manual. dog. I got that. Yeah, we got that car from Max, uh, if you remember, out of Utah. That was a really great car. Well, whatever. The point is is yep. that I hadn't driven one that, I mean, getting behind the wheel and driving that car down the road, I was like, oh, my God, this is what it was actually like when they were new. This is yeah. amazing. It yeah. was nothing like any 928 I'd ever driven. And I'd driven S4s and all kinds of newer ones and stuff like that. But they always had way more miles and were tired. But this car was just, it got me excited. And I look at the pictures of this 924, uh, and yeah. I, particularly the interior pictures, because that's oh, really that's... what reveals the condition of this car. Look at how perfect the interior Beautiful. is. Look yeah, at so the nice. dashboard and the steering wheel and the gear shift lever and the parking brake. All this stuff doesn't look like it's beat to hell. And it just makes me want to experience this car. I don't know what this car is like because every 924... Uh, you know, uh, turbo I've ever driven has been a piece of junk, right? I've driven yeah. some really nice 924 S's 
And, uh-huh. and that's why I love 924s. We talked about, uh, there, uh, yeah. just, I don't know, six months ago, there was a 924 right here in town and it was a turbo that was restored by our, by our friends, you know, Dwayne Wick and, uh, and, and John over there made a, yeah. um, a safari out of it. And I was That's like right. bidding on it. I really wanted that car. And I kind of, you know, uh, blinked because we thought the car was going to go for a lot more uh, than it actually did. And I didn't pay attention at the end of the, at the end of the auction because I thought it would rally and it didn't. And I missed out and I would probably own that car right now to right. this day. That was not a car that I wanted to buy and flip. That was a car that I wanted to own. And um, so here we are looking at this one going, man, is this going to be another opportunity? Uh, But I don't know if I would buy it because I have no idea really what it's like. Um, And I want to believe. It's like the X-Files. I want this car to be as good as what I'm projecting (laughs) onto it. But I'm afraid if I pulled the trigger on something like this, would I be honestly in your boat where you kind of projected what you wanted on your, on that 914 that you recently bought, but it didn't really live up to what you projected. Right, right. And that happens, right? Because, you know, every car purchase starts with a fantasy of you and the car going down the road, yeah, you know, right. and that's just the way it goes. It's just, you, well, you particularly know, and then, with classic cars. I mean, that's why we have yes, these conversations, yes. right? This, that does not yeah. happen when you go down to the Datsun dealer and buy a Nissan Versa or whatever, you know, you have bad credit and you yeah. get some. Or you go to God and Porsche Kia and you buy a Macan. They'll let you drive it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but there's no, but even, no, that's not what I'm saying. I think you, I, oh, I think sorry. I maybe wasn't clear, right? I'm saying that every car that you really want is something that you can uh, hmm, let me rephrase this when you buy a normal person car like Mm -hmm. the nissan um that's not something that anyone's dreaming about that's something you know when someone goes and buys a brand new dodge minivan or whatever it's not because they really want one it's because they have to get one or that's all they can get you know, you start looking at classic cars, something like this, and you project that romantic idea of yeah. what it is going to be like. And uh, when you buy it from something like an auction and have it shipped to your house, you don't really know what you're going to get till it's there. Um, yeah. So all that said, what do we think the results of this particular 924 Turbo will be what's your number michael Beeb? so jp let's put the rat on the table the first thing is this car is on the west coast it's here in the bay area and they put it on p car market that that is a bummer to me because i don't think he's going to get the money he deserves for this car that being said i do think the car will sell there are a lot of plenty of porsche people looking at p car market um with just twenty one thousand miles this car is going to get a lot of love and a lot of attention jp it's got a few days before it closes it's sitting at just six thousand dollars on three bids. I think this car will make it to over twenty-five grand. I'm going to give you twenty-six thousand dollars as my bid, and say that that probably is enough for it to sell. But what I wonder about the consigner is if they had the patience to put this car on, bring a trailer. I actually think this car would bring twelve thousand dollars more. I would have thought this car would brought like thirty-eight thousand dollars on BAT. But that's not going to happen here because the car is stuck on P car market. And I do think it'll probably bring enough to make the consigner happy. But I don't know if the consigner realizes what they have, because if they did, they never would have put it on P car market in the first place. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think this guy's leaving $10,000 on the table. So 26 grand, it probably sells for that. But I'm saying way over 35 if it was on BAT. Um, This car is special enough. The condition is special enough that it deserved the weight to be on the better platform, the superior platform. And that is going to cost the consigner money. That's my, that's my take. And I'm, I'm sticking to that one. I think this is a (laughs) a huge mistake. I do agree that BAT would probably bring more than P car market, but I think P car market, um, when it comes to really good Porsches, they tend to hold up. Um, when you have something that's weird, like a Ferrari or something, or yeah. or something, you know, a GTI or something, I don't, you know, bring a trailer just got what a uh, hundred four thousand dollars for a two thousand four R thirty two. Was that on <laughs> bring a trailer, yep. right? Yeah. Um, yep. And uh, and not long before that, they got eighty seven thousand for a Mark II uh, GTI. Uh, yeah. You know that, and th- so this car, I mean. Geez, 20,000 miles, that's incredible. 
incredible. I am yeah. stoked about this car. And we are seeing some of these cars that have not seen love find some big numbers when they have low miles like this. Yeah. Um, is this one that will be realized as well? Uh, I don't think it's bringing eighty seven thousand dollars, but I think it's going <laughs> to get more than twenty six. I think it's going to get thirty. Um, you do? I agree with you. I think that if it were on a on a slightly better platform or a much better platform, that it w- it could get a lot more. But it's on the right coast. It's 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 in San Francisco. It's close enough to L A. The people yeah. that are interested in this car want this car, and maybe it's an opportunity uh, for our friend. I gosh, I would love Yuri to get this car because uh, me too. Get a chance I've, to drive it. I'm jealous. Absolutely. You guys are going to go get to get behind the wheel. I want to see the report on this thing. Yeah, for sure. I'm really excited. I, I hope he gets it. I think some uh, some white um, dirt fascination balls, like right on the side. Mm, so good on that silver paint. Yeah, a little meatball but, on the but side. Yeah. Yuri's you're, you're, not a big sticker guy, but I might when he's not looking, I might slap a bit nerd sticker in the rear window. <laughs> this car, look, if if Yuri winds up with this car, if our friend Yuri winds up with this car, um, I promise Rami and I will come up to the Bay Area and uh, we will do one of his reviews. We will make an oh, cool. episode about this car uh, for the Rami show. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, what will be the results of this amazing, hermetically sealed, immaculate unicorn of a 924 Turbo? Uh, will it bring the big money, or do you think it'll stall out like uh, my friend Michael Deeb seems to think that uh, – this platform will not bring the dough. Uh, P car market. Is the, yeah, you know, now is the time to go ahead and plug in your bids. You know, let's let's go ahead and see if you're better at this than we are. The chances are that you are. Uh, put your put the little put the timer mark on the side. Really, really prove your metal like some of the, you guys are doing. I love that. I love that. And I love seeing the comments. What do you guys think of this car in general? Uh, all right, let's find out what happens with the results of this 924 right after this. Hey guys, I got to tell you about our friends God and Porsche of Las Vegas and God and Classic. If you're looking for a new Porsche or a Classic, you've got to call our friend Steve at God and this guy. 1989 linen gray metallic G50 cab. Is that going to be for sale? It is going to be for sale. Uh, the car only has 65,000 miles. On Save it. yourself the hassle of screwing around with all the auctions like we always talk about and just talk to Steve. He'll find you the classic Porsche you're looking for. Gotten Porsche of Las Vegas. If you love watching car videos on YouTube, you gotta check out my channel, The Rally Show. Oh, oh, this car. I am driving a 2020 Lamborghini SVJ. This car, watch this. Hundred and fifteen mile an hour turn like like it's nothing. <laughs> Welcome sorry. back to I know what there, I was, buddy. <laughs> I know I know our mics are live when the commercials are on John. I have to apologize. <laughs> but every time he goes I just I literally it makes me laugh every time. It's like watching my kid, you know? <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> Weekly car reviews on the Rami show and they are irreverent reviews the, we are not talking about doug demiro standing behind an old kmart in the rain pointing out where you put the umbrella and the you know gas flap is we're talking about a guy that actually gets out there and drives these things rips like a it. real person just rips it yeah. and tells you the real deal on the car um yeah. so uh, if you want uh, if you want if that appeals to you for for your car reviews get out there and check out the rami show our sister channel um yes. all right uh, you, we God. are uh, we are in the future uh we are looking at this 924 turbo oh, this is the kind of car man. that our friends at god and porsche would definitely put on their showroom floor i'd love to see yeah. this car uh they're fans of transaxle cars over there i yeah and you know what's funny is if they had the car john i think they would sell it i i this car has struggled twice now. So, um, you know, we mentioned that this car in October of 2022 failed to sell on bring a trailer at $13,599. So here we are like, you know, basically four months later, John on P car market. And, um, you know, you and I gave our assessment of what we think the car is. We, we both really like the car out of Walnut Creek, which is 21,000 miles. It's an excellent spec with silver with the black. And I love the 16 inch, uh, like 928 wheels versus the other wheel that I think came on. It was kind of a mesh, sort of a, you know, like a faux BBS looking kind of wheel, or maybe it is a BBS. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know the cars that well. 
But um, I we I gave you my number thinking like if it were sell, this is where it would come. I'd say twenty six thousand bucks. You took the over at thirty thousand. Our car is DOA, John. It failed to sell on P car market. I'm really surprised you took the over with P car. Um, that's not like you. It's like out of character. Uh, fifteen thousand dollars was the final bid. Um, let me read it to you, John. Final bid. Wound up in the deal tank. Actually, neither one of us marked how many bids they got. I don't think it was many. I'm guessing it was like probably 10 bids or 12 bids. Uh, it's in the deal tank for $35,000. I, It's hard to argue with that money because where's the comps? Where, where? When's the last time you saw a 924 Turbo that was in excellent condition, can claim original paint, and um, and uh, you know had such low miles on it? I, there are no comps over the last few years. I think RM Sotheby's sold uh, a blue one for like $27,000. That was the hammer price, which means the winning bidder paid another 12% premium on top of that. So that bidder paid 30 grand in like 2019. And I'm doing this from memory. I, so I, I don't think 35 is out of, is like completely smoking pot, but I do feel like it is on P car market after you failed to sell at 15,000 bucks on bring a trailer last year or just four months ago. This car now is damaged goods. I think he's going to struggle to sell it at all. I think he'd be lucky to get twenty five grand at this point because it's been burnt twice on two mate, the, probably the two biggest platforms in this country. And I hate to say this to somebody because it's such a neener, neener, neener thing, but like this car should have gone to RM Sotheby's or Goodings or the new the new boys on the block or Broad Arrow Group that are essentially run that's Haggerty's their sugar daddy. I think those guys could have got you thirty or thirty five thousand dollars for this car. But when you failed to sell it on on uh, BAT, your expectations of thirty five grand on P car market are you know that's like angel dust so I, I i don't know what to tell you at this point he's he's ruined the car um and that's a shame because it's a really nice car um good guy though like uh yuri talked to the guy and he's a car enthusiast um he has a nice collection of cars jp he's the type of guy that can afford to have like a warehouse for his toys and has a lift on it and he can bring a tech into his warehouse to work on his cars under his roof so pretty cool stuff um i hope Hopefully Yuri and I will go out there and meet this person um, in person and shake his hand and talk to him and and see what he's going to wind up doing with the car. So hopefully we can follow up on this particular lot um, after I get to meet the guy, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, or maybe we'll meet him over Luft Cold weekend and invite him to play with. Maybe he'll bring the car out on the, on the professor run and we'll get to see it in action. That Maybe that's the, the silver lining for us. But uh, JP, what do you think of this result? I mean, it's just kind of a bummer, you know? It's hard to knock P car market on this given that it brought – more money, the bids were higher on P car market than they were on BAT. I mean, it didn't make anywhere near what the, the what the seller obviously wanted for it. Um, you know, I mean, geez, only half of what I was thinking. I I feel like there's been this kind of odd sea change, right? It, for last year, um, everything everything nine eleven was just crazy, right? Yeah. Now it seems like okay, 911s have softened a bit unless they're really low miles, uh, or really low miles, yeah. perfect, kind of like hermetically sealed or really badass hot rods, right? Like, you yeah, know, with, yeah. with big engines and stuff like that. Um, if it's run-of-the-mill SCs or run-of-the-mill um, <laughs> 993s, um, they're not bringing the money that they were a year ago. Um, even yeah. though they're still bringing way more money than they were two or three years ago, they kind of right. peaked. Now it's kind of plateaued and yeah. it seems like there's a place now for these oddballs that weren't being recognized. Like we've seen that, uh, what was it? A 92, um, Mark two Volkswagen GTI, right? right? You yeah. never yeah. see clean ones of those. And that car famously yeah. did 87,000 miles. The owner of that car actually reached out to our channel uh, and was asking to maybe, you know, we might bring him on as a third nerd sometime. Um, oh, because, uh, you know, because so, cool. so he was super stoked to see our uh, our video about it. Um, but that was right kind on. of the buzz, right? Um, and, you know, and then we've kind of seen then a, a, an R32 uh, Mark IV GTI yeah. brought $100,000. Now that was had yeah. like hardly any miles. And we even yeah. profiled a car earlier this week. And, uh, you know, it was a 911 SC with 
9,000 original miles, and that car almost brought 100,000. Now, that car failed to sell uh, because of these expectations, but I think $90,000 for an SC, I mean, wait a minute, sit back for a second and think about that. That's uh, crazy for a 911 SC, Targa no less. So looking yeah. at something like this, it, feel, it felt like this 924 sh- should have been in a place where it would have its moment, but it yeah. just didn't. It just kind of didn't, and I'm, and I'm with you 100%. Um, it's burned. This car is going to, you're going to have yeah. to wait a year or so and put it yeah. in one of those live auctions. It's just not going to happen online or, unless or, we see another 924 somehow bring a bunch of money that, uh, what was it on P car market? Our friend, uh, here locally in Vegas had that, John. um, safari was it one. John's car? Yeah. Was John John's had that car, car and that yeah. car went for $19,000 and I was bummed that I didn't buy it. You know, him yeah. and Dwayne worked on that thing and cleaned it all up and uh, it was super cool. That car but was I would, cool. Yeah, that car was yeah. great. I would think that as cool as that Safari 924 Turbo was, I would think that an all original 924 Turbo would bring more money than a Safari to out one. Isn't, doesn't, isn't that kind of odd? Yeah. What do you guys think out there? Yeah, right. I This car, the value should have been there and, and, and now he's just like rotten luck twice. And I think he's got a firm grip on it. Like, I, I think th- there's a good chance this guy can sell this car privately. Um, and by all accounts, uh, is this a car you would drive Michael deep? I, I mean, I gotta tell you, sure. I would love this car. This would Absolutely. be fan. I would, Absolutely. man, I would proudly Absolutely. show up to any cars and coffee with this thing. Absolutely. I would drive it and have a blast with it. It would be really fun. Do something to just make a little noise out of the exhaust and, and just yeah. let it rip. And you know that uh, with Luftkult coming up um, right around the corner in the Bay Area, they are making it a two-day event, which is something they've never yeah. done. And word on the street water. is the second day is allowing water and transaxle cars. So trans, yeah. I guess I guess Luftkult's gone woke. They're allowing trans cars now. Trans are identifying yeah. as air-cooled. Totally. I don't know. Is that how that works? Whatever. Uh-huh. We're inclusive. Yeah, well, <laughs> what were you saying? We get, <laughs> you submit when you do car submissions. Is it gonna like the first box is gonna be year? Second box is gonna be pronouns? Like yeah, <laughs> Vosser or Luft. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, what do you guys think of the results of this 924? Is it just an unrealized potential here? Is this uh, is this a call? I mean, I, is this something that's gonna be worth fifty thousand dollars ever? Even if you lock this away, how long, yeah. how much inflation would there have to be for this car to be worth more than thirty five thousand uh, yeah. dollars, or is it just, uh, is it worth that much right now? And just the online people aren't realizing what does yeah. this thing original, belong? original paint blue, um, blue plate California car. I mean, it, it really looks like the nicest one I've ever seen. Um, it would be interesting. This guy should absolutely put it in Luft to Colt and add a little provenance to this car's uh, history. Um, it'd be pretty neat if it was on display as part of the the display. Of, My understanding yeah. is all the water pumpers are going to be by invite only, so they've got them yeah. kind of figured out. So I don't know if you can enter them on this one, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, right. Would I, maybe maybe our friends at God and Porsche should own this car and put this on the yeah. showroom floor, and someone could walk in there and fall in love with it. Yeah, I bet uh, I bet Paul Kramer could sell it. Paul could sell it. That would be he'd be yeah. the guy. I bet Paul, Paul yeah. could sell it. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out, uh, and we will see you tomorrow on the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. Drop in the closer. Get those words!